Alert Wolf here to bring you another anime review. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I'm a little bit blind on this one. I'm trying a different location in my living room where the actual movies are. A buddy of mine who's here right now is like, dude, you should totally do it from here. The lighting isn't as good, so I'm putting the light on, which is blinding the crap out of me. But uh, anyway, what we're doing it on is Dragon Ball Super Episode. I think this one's five. Yeah. Episode five. The decisive battle on King Kai's planet. Goku versus Beerus, the god of destruction. I'm drinking some Shock Top uh, Honey Crisp Apple Wheat. Alright, this episode is simple. It's easy. It is good. Basically, we are at the part on the movie, I mean the show, where Beerus arrives on King Kai's planet and is looking for Goku to see if Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan God that he dreamed up in his dream. And of course, Goku is curious to meet uh, Beerus. Uh, most of this is almost scene for scene similar to uh, the actual movie Battle of the Gods. That's why I've noticed the Battle of the Gods is uh, creeping in on the, on, the, on the screen there. Um, basically, they did extend it though. So we get to see Goku fight him in each of his Super Saiyan forms rather than going all the way up to three and fight him. So he starts off as one and, and Beerus is like, yeah man, to see you beating... Well first he looks at Goku and he goes, you must have other transformations because you didn't beat Frieza like this. Then he transforms to one and he's like, yeah, uh, I see you, you can beat Frieza like this and he fights him, but you would have had some trouble. Uh, now see, I don't like that because... Goku got so good at one that Beerus should have said, yeah, you should have easily beat him, not you should have had trouble beating him. Because I think part of this has to do with really building up. I know Battle, uh, I know Revival of F is out in the theaters, uh, especially in the US, and they're trying to build like Frieza was somebody, like he was a contender, but he's not. I will say this. Well, I am going to go see uh, Battle of, uh, uh, Revival or Resurrection of F uh, uh, in, in a little while. I'm going to leave here this one, a little later and going to go see it at the Alamo Draft House. Get a little sauce stuff and watch some Dragon Ball. But, uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I get them trying to almost preserve it, but really, Goku beat Frieza as a entry level Super Saiyan 1, like base. Like, I just turned Super Saiyan 1 and I kicked your ass. Not a, not a, a fully ascended, you know, Goku, I could live every day of my life as a Super Saiyan 1. Uh, that guy would have annihilated Frieza in two hits. I mean, we saw, basically, Trunks do the same thing. But I, that's my only gripe about that. All right, then he goes to two. And Beerus is, is impressed of how much more power he's able to get out of two. Goku's a little cocky in two. And he gets a little, little like, ah, oh, I could punch you into another dimension if I could just hit you. Uh, and then Beerus is like, eh, you're still a joke. So then he goes all the way to three. And we get more of a, again, the, the, the fight is just extended. So we get more, more of Goku trying. And while this is cool aesthetically, I think the movie did it better because in the movie, because, uh, you know, he, he, he goes to three one two hits and done you know he was one shot and done whereas in this the trying too much kind of takes away from how powerful the other super saiyan forms are and it also uh, uh just takes away from the effectiveness of how badass beerus is to beat goku super saiyan 3 in like two blows um, but then we, you know, uh, again, he gets beaten, they teleport away, and they're going to Earth. And then, you know, obviously King Kai warns uh, uh, Vegeta, who is now at his wife's birthday party, to watch out, because if his mood goes, he'll destroy the Earth. 
Vegeta obviously thinks this is familiar and blah blah blah. So what did I think of the episode? The episode itself, uh, it was it was fun, man. It was uh, reminiscent, good amount of action. I'm gonna give this one a three and a half out of five. Um, definitely one of the better episodes. Definitely the best episode thus far uh, in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, but again, you know, a lot of this would be better if we haven't already seen the movie. <laughs> we don't already know where this is going. So, I mean, I get it. The first two arcs are catch-up, so they really have time to, to flesh out the main arc that's coming. Where, where you know, uh, he goes and, 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 and goes after, um, you know, the other universes. But we'll see where that goes. We'll see how long it takes. In Dragon Ball, the pacing I find with these episodes has been pretty good. So I don't think it's going to be a year on this movie and a year on the next movie. And then two years from now, we're going to get the first new arc. I think the way this is going, we're going to get three to four months out of this one. Maybe three to four months out of the next one. And then probably this time this year, we'll be breaking ground on a brand new arc. I think the fact that they gave us a trailer and a glimpse of who these new characters are probably means this is going to happen sooner than later, even though right now they're stalling on uh, the battle by retelling Battle of Gods and Revival of F. So that's my opinion on it. All right, that's enough out of me. So click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. And this is your blind buddy, Alert Wolf, signing off.